Hey, I'm Devin Bledsoe. And I'm Eric Bowling. And this is the Ford Mach-E. This is the concept SUV uh, off of the Mustang. This is a great all-electric vehicle. This one here is all-wheel drive. It is the premium model. Um, today we're going to be taking it around the block just to check it out. So the first thing we're going to take a look at here on the Mach-E is going to be the front-facing camera. It's right here in the middle of where the grill would be. We're also going to have your front sensors. This vehicle does have the 360 centering as well as the 360 camera. So as we come around the vehicle, you're also going to notice that in each of the mirrors, there are cameras. So you're also going to notice the very clean exterior of the car. One of the reasons being is uh, the handles are all built in. You push the button, the door opens automatically. You've got this wing here to grab and open them. The back has no handle at all. We're going to be able to hit the button right here. It's going to open and then it has a nice hand pad right here on the inside of the vehicle for grabbing. All right, this is where you're going to hook up your vehicle and you're going to be able to charge it. Right here is the dial to let you know when you're full. And now we're going to take a look at the front. So inside the Mach-E, there's no engine bay. So the first thing we're going to check out here is all the storage that we're going to have in the front. It's got a nice divider uh, for keeping things separated. This will also pull right out uh, if you needed to remove it. We got your windshield wiper fluid right there. We'll be able to top it off. There is no latch in the new car. It's a two button pull. We're gonna pull it twice and it pops off automatically. Again, you've got your rear sensors, your rear backup camera, tons and tons of storage space. Tons of cargo room here in the Ford Mach-E. This is also where it's gonna store your charging cable. Um, so everything you're gonna need for uh, extended drives so if you don't have your at-home drive uh, charger you will also have this 120 volt or uh, 110 house outlet volt power closing just press a button it's gonna close up for us so as you can see the tail light design here is very similar to the Ford Mustang like I said we're taking a little bit of the design from the Mustang itself uh, with how fast the, the drop is on the back kind of a coupe look all right folks now we're gonna hop on the inside and we'll take it around the block so guys, now the first thing we're going to check out here is this awesome screen. This is a portrait style Sync 4 screen. Tons and tons of imagery here. I love how the volume knob's built in. It also has the B&O sound system. It's a great sound. It's going to go all the way across the dash. The B&O sound system's awesome. Now we're going to take a look at the huge Vista roof. And then take a look at the back seat. The interior of this car is great. It's got the perforated black leather. Looks great white stitching all right now let's take it for a drive all right folks we're in the ford mach-e and we're going to start it up take it for a test drive we're started <laughs> we're starting super right. silent super quiet it is very quiet all right so we put up the backup camera the first thing that you notice is not only do you get the 360 view you're also going to get right behind the vehicle i do like that how you got both views Eric, you want to tell them about some of the features while we're driving? Yeah, so the most apparent thing you're going to notice uh, when driving an electric car is that one, that it is silent, but on the Mach-E specifically, if you wanted to change that, you could head to your settings here and you could put on your propulsion sound. So this would be accelerating without the propulsion sound. And this would be accelerating with the propulsion sound. Show them that sound. It sounds like a jet. <laughs> now this is in the uh, unbridled mode, which is going to be the most aggressive style. I'm gonna turn this back off. So what that was doing was playing engine sounds, probably a Mustang sound. Uh, through the speakers and it does have that 10 speaker banging all the surround sound So it is going to be a more realistic experience things we'll notice on here You got heated seats on both the seats up here heated steering wheel your AC controls right here 
Uh, you're going to have the most amount of driver assistance on this, being that this is the Ford Copilot 2.0 system. So if you were to look through the list of uh, driver assist you have, we have over 10 on here, probably over 12. Um, and you can see that full list here. Now Devin, how's it driving? Drives great, very responsive. Oh, there is one thing I'd like to check out. Try this one pedal mode. Let's see. Oh, it, it dramatically increases how much it brakes. So basically, when you let off the gas, it is going to be applying brakes for you. Like immediately. Like there is, like that is as soon as I let off the gas pedal, it's going to start decelerating the car. Um, so let's see how it does. Okay, I'm going to have to give it more gas just to get the stoplight. So it does take a little getting used to, but that is something that's unique to this vehicle as compared to other electric vehicles. So you may be wondering how much this vehicle costs. Devin, can you tell them how much this particular, the premium version of the Mach-E uh, goes This one for? stickers for a little over 56000 um, But like he said, this is the premium. This car comes very well equipped. It's going to have a ton of the options on it. Um, so there are lesser models that you may be able to get a better a better price on I wouldn't say deal because uh, this thing's got awesome features in addition this one will have a $5,000 option and that is for the 88 kilowatt hour usable extended battery so that you're gonna have extended range on this vehicle as compared to other mach -E's. So let's show them how the car can park itself all right hit our park aid so park aid you can hit there and then you can actually just click this That's button the right here. Activation button. Great so. graphics on this. And then you can pick uh, parallel uh, perpendicular. So we're gonna have to turn it into perpendicular right yeah. here. And then we use our turn signal uh, to decide what side the row of cars is on. So we're gonna put it here. So we're gonna go up here and try to park between the two explorers. So now that our park assist is on, I'm gonna put my turn signal over to the side here. And, and there it is. Space found, so it's gonna ask me to stop. Shift into neutral. Shift it to neutral. And then hold on, uh, hold the button down. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that'd be something different. Okay. So as you can see, it's using the guidelines, the same ones you'd get on your, uh, rear view camera on any um, huh. Ford that's equipped. And so. at, the, at the, this time I'm not touching the gas or the brake. Uh, so it's doing everything. Wow. As you can see this the 360 camera is very cool. We have a pole behind us, so you're going to see that rear sensing system start to illuminate. And just like that, hmm. the active park assist is finished. All right, folks, again, my name's Devin. And I'm Eric. Thank you all for watching our video today. Uh, I'd love for you to go ahead and smash that like button as well as uh, share some of our recent posts. Uh, we're really trying to get our videos out there and reach as many people as we can. Uh, Ford's got a lot of technology, and we'd love to share it with you. Um, so tune in next week. Make sure you like all our videos and subscribe. There you go, Eric. A shout-out for you. And thanks for watching. <laughs>